Uh, today, dear lecturer, today we are going to present our final presentation about the strategic uh, management uh, accounting model. So we selected the Harishtan PLC uh, to finish uh, our assignment. So in order to Harishtan PLC, uh, it is co-founded that the Harishtan, uh, the visionary uh, local entrepreneur and the philanthropist in Sri Lanka. The company is started 1943. The registered in CSC 1986. The Bilan uh, leader who are also care about their employees and where they value valuable their massive asset. Harishan the PLC will risk management firm in Sri Lanka. The company have very risky uh, compared to the other firms in Sri Lanka. The reason behind that is they have long term risk management plan. According to the Miss, uh, according to the Miss, uh, 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 Samara Vikram, the uh, company, uh, Samara Vikram, the management accountant of the company, have uh, said that uh, the company have a very risk, uh, very risk compared to the other firms in Sri Lanka. So the they have uh, conduct, they have actually uh, successfully reduced the risk uh, in currently. Uh, they also started this uh, risk redu reducing method at early stage in uh, their uh, companies started. Uh, so I will in invite to next presenter to continue this presentation. Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm from Raja Singha. Now I'm going to present the Harish Chandra PSC risk management framework in general. So when we talk about the risk, risk simply risk means future uncertainties, right? We do plans, uh, we do planning, we do uh, forecasting, but we do predictions, but all of them can be changed. Therefore, we cannot completely eliminate this risk element. We have to deal with that. Therefore, that's why we need a proper risk management framework in an organization. So basic purpose of having a risk management framework is to explore the hidden opportunities in a risk while uh, reducing its adverse impact to the organization. When it comes to Harish Chandra PLC risk management framework, uh, there's no any separate risk management committee uh, for the risk management activities. Therefore, auditing committee and the board of directors are the responsible parties for the risk management activities. And also, uh, for the when it comes to the functional level risk management activities, functional managers are the responsible parties for that. Under the risk management framework of uh, Harish Chandra PLC, uh, they have a categorized risk into five elements. The first element is risk associated with supply chain management. Under that, they focus on uh, consistent and effective supply of quality uh, raw materials supply and uh, effective communication with the key suppliers and healthy relationship, maintaining healthy relationship with key suppliers and productivity of production process and uh, distribution process. The second one is risk associated with finance and liquidity. Under that, they focused on credit risk, uh, internal finance, uh, debt financing sources, external financing source, and the uh, internal financing source and the external financing source. So third thing is risk associated with human resource. Under that, they consider about the employee retention, research and development, employees costs and performance evaluation. Uh, and the fourth one is risk associated with market. Under that, they focus on market conditions, changes in consumers. Uh, and last one is risk associated with legal regulations. Under that, they focus on prescribed, prescribed practices, uh, auditing and accounting standards, and conceptual frameworks, and different laws and regulations related to financial reporting and uh, preparations. So that's about uh, the Harishan PLC risk management framework. So I would like to invite Ayomal to 
uh, present the next slide. Thank you. I'm going to explain about the risk management approach of Harishan Mills PLC. As mentioned by the uh, management accountant of Harishan Mills PLC, they have a separate uh, approach of uh, risk management. It has, it consists of uh, five main steps. Uh, those are uh, risk management planning, risk identification, risk assessment, risk response planning, and finally monitoring and control. This uh, management approach is the process of identifying, uh, analyzing, and responding to uh, project risk. As he also mentioned that uh, it includes both, both uh, quantitative and qualitative uh, criteria. And uh, their first step is uh, risk management planning. And uh, the, the, this is the initial uh, work performed by uh, performed to identify the risk management approach to be used on the program and the program specific assessment criteria. And the second step is risk identification. Uh, this is the process of identifying the uh, potential sources of risk both initially and uh, ongoing, on an ongoing basis. And uh, then they do risk assessment. This is the process of actually uh, assessing the risk against the program assessment criteria. Uh, after that, uh, they do risk response planning. Uh, this is the creative process uh, of identifying the risk response strategies, strategies and plans uh, to be used and detailed risk response for each identified risk separately. This planning includes identifying the trigger events that will cause the risk response plan and uh, to be executed. Then finally, they do uh, monitoring and control. Uh, this is the uh, process of monitoring for a risk event occurrence uh, and monitoring the performance of the uh, risk response plan and reporting the results to the top management. Uh, then uh, this part will be explained by Sandeepa. He will explain about the key achievements of the company. Thank you, Amar. I'm going to present key achievements. Harichandra always, Har Harichandra always pr produce high quality product. For that, they use constant supply of high quality material and they use efficient and effective manufacturing methods. They timely distribute their products because of that, we didn't show any shortage of goods. According to their annual report, the timely distribute of product is a must for the success of the company. They believe, success, they believe successful customer relationships are vital to their business and continual growth. Maintaining a strong relationship with their customers is necessary for their rate to be well presented and available for purchase all the time. As we can see, there are so many customers loyal to Harish Chandra products and they say they are great customer satisfaction and the confidence in their product lead to build brand loyalty. They always try to video best try to deliver best product to their customers. This company is governed by various laws and regulations, including Companies Act, Island Revenue Act, SEC regulation, and CSC rules. And internal audits also carried out every quarter to mitigate the possible risk of not complying with relevant standards. Because their employees are protected and so many people have hoped to join with them. Also, their financial risk has reduced exposed to credit risk and external financing is very low. That was because their management continuously monitor their financial risk. Both employee interaction and talent management interviews with as performance review, career counseling, training and development. The company focused a major emphasis on retaining important personnel. Because of that, they could have talented employees. 
Thank you. I will invite next presenter to continue. Thank you, Sandeep. Uh, the next slide is about future priorities. The major point they brought up and the most difficult problem they are now facing is the COVID-19 pandemic scenario. The industry safety requirements are must by ensuring that the food on our plates is safe to consume and that the people who made it are well cared for. Food production is one of those sectors where they can't operate remotely, like on Microsoft Teams. So ensuring worker safety and rebuilding labor trust that the manufacturing plant is a safe workplace will be taken place the priority for the next few months. And the other thing they highlighted is reducing the usage of plastics to take care of the environmental effect by manufacturing foods. And they have identified the importance of the new technological things with the pandemic situation. As they said, in future, they will adopt more technological processes in their manufacturing and also delivering their goods. Uh, the next slide is about operating landscape. A firm landscape is the central notion and of the most essential components that make up business and collaborate to produce something valuable. A landscape has no limitations in terms of what may be defined. In order to better grasp the issue, we concentrated on the present pandemic scenario and the time period during which the lockdown occurred at our conference. As previously stated, they comply to the health authorities' safety regulations. Supermarkets did not close during the lockdown since there, were, there was no problem, even during in the COVID-19 outbreak. They are strong because they are dedicated staff and the fact that they are a food producing firm even in the pandemic situation. Their continuous service with the efficient services also brings a value to the organization. It is about continuously progressing in the correct condition, reliable growth of high materials, efficient and effective operation, and timely produce delivery are critical to the organization's growth. In the same way, human resources provide value to the company by focusing on employee engagement and talented uh, management strategies, such as performance evaluation and career uh, counseling, as well as training and the development, the firm is able to maintain essential employees. Management is worried that the lack of skills and expertise in the company's staff may limit the company's ability to develop and maintain its performance in the face of market competition, as well as lead to power productivity and higher expenditures. So there, these are the values that brings the Harish Chandra PLC, one of the leading companies. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sajini. Uh, my part is risk governance structure and oversight. Uh, risk, governance, risk governance is the formal structure used to support uh, risk-based decision-making and oversight uh, across all operations of the organization. And uh, it involves uh, the board, board committees, uh, delegations, uh, management structures, and uh, yeah, like that. Uh, this is the uh, risk governance structure of the uh, Harish Chandra PLC. Uh, they have uh, executives and non-executives uh, directors under uh, board of directors. And uh, they have three committees. Uh, they audit committee, uh, related party transaction review committee, and uh, remuneration committee. Uh, the next slide. Uh, yeah, uh, the first one is uh, audit committee. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 
i explain uh, their uh, responsibilities uh, each other uh, first uh, first is uh, audit committee uh, their responsibilities are uh, reviewing the uh, form and substance of uh, company and the financial statement also monitoring their uh, integrity and uh, advise the board of the external auditors of uh, appointment dismissal and the fees duty uh, and the second one uh, related party transaction review committee uh, they are responsible is uh, creating and uh, adhering to a uh, related party activities policies that complies with the code and the listening rules and uh, all plan related party transaction are reviewed for uh confirming with the code and the listening rules <coughs> the last committee uh remuneration committee uh it has a uh, executives and non executive uh, and as well as a uh, senior management uh as part of its employee uh pay policy the company considering meet uh, market rates the experience and uh, abilities of the employees uh employee grades as well as performance yeah thank you uh, tarini thank you uh, thank you tamila under the risk culture having a strong risk culture is important to the company to create value for their stakeholders as well as stable in the industry harish and the plc have strong risk culture at the beginning of the company they maintain the minimum risk level comparing with other competitive companies in same industry ceo and managers and employees working according to the plan to minimize the risk in year by year because of that in covid-19 pandemic situation harishandra company successfully faced for the situation than other competitive companies next slide when is uh, when it comes to the risk appetite and strategy harish and the company can define risk averse company it means they do not willing to take any risky decision since the beginning of the company management take an important decision to do not take any risky decision to uh, they are maximize the profit then they maximize their profit without taking any risky decision as a strategy Uh, mainly they do not maintain credit from outsourcing it means they mainly very low debit holder amount in the company and also they maintain only funds that's why harish and the company have lower risk than other competitive companies uh, in addition company takes following strategies to minimize type of risk associated with the company activity to reduce of supply chain management risk company develop contingency plans to check and control the quality of their key suppliers uh, and well maintain their quality assurance department and continuously monitor market data and competitive prices are used as strategies to uh, reduce the market risk associated with the company company implement a strong risk management process to monitor and comply with all applicable laws and regulation to the company as a strategy to reduce the regulatory and legal risk company use internal financial sources and also financial in, uh, indicators are regular item on the board agenda and emerging trends of both local and global are taken as strategies to managing financial and liquidity risk company implement structured and relevant training and development programs for their employees to minimize the risk associated with human resource as a strategy uh, next slide ne next slide is key performance indicator key performance indicators help to identify the company's financial strategic and operational activity Uh, and following KPIs can use as a measurement for the reduced risk associated with the organization. Uh, supply chain management risk, perfect order index and defect rate, market risk, customer satisfaction score and customer retention rate, regulatory and legal risk, um, number of internal audits, financial and liquidity risk, operating cash flow, current ratio and leverage ratio, human resource risk. Key talent retention rate and absenteeism rate. 
uh, now I invite to Imali to continue the presentation. Thank you, Tarini. Uh, discussion and analyzing. Overall discussion of the Harichandra Mills PLC, the risk is very low level and also generally they monitor and maintain their risk strategies as well as the due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation, the process going on well, the uh, reason of, the, of that they have proper analyzing about their risk management policy. Under the risk management, uh, identify principal risks such as uh, credit risk, market risk, life insurance, and the operational risk. Credit risk, under the credit risk, if compared to the 2019, the credit risk reduced sharp 5.83 percentage. It is the positive impact to the company as well as the financial risk level also low. Because under that uh, marketing risk, uh, the Harichandra Mills PLC lead huge role in the Sri Lanka market as it is the, they lead their market role properly and they adjusted their policy uh, and they do changes, uh, changes according to the market environment. Life insurance, they are properly mentioned uh, the insurance policy, they are, uh, they are not properly mentioned the insurance policy in their report but they maintain their uh, relationship properly as well as the policies for their employment. Uh, operation risk, it, uh, under that, the main objective of Harish Chandra Mills, uh, Mills PLC maintain the pro uh, proper operation policies. And they need to uh, play a huge role in the market, market and increase the uh, reputation of the company. The next slide. Mitigation action. What is the mitigation action? It is the specific action, project, or the activity to reduce or eliminate long-term risk. According to the Harish Chandra Mills, uh, identified mitigation action according to the credit risk, market risk, uh, supply management risk, regulatory uh, and legal risk, liquidity risk, uh, human resource, operational risk. We identify about all principle they must monitor for mitigation action and applied for it reduce the future risk level. Uh, as I mentioned about the uh, Harish Chandra Mills PLC uh, have lower risk level. The reason of behind that the monitor their risk management as well as uh, they have proper policies for risk management and they uh, take uh, direct uh, action for minimize and control their risk level. That's why their risk level is very smoothly and uh, properly. Uh, this is end of our presentation. Thank you.